Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to look at today on Wednesday, right after the 4th of July, the celebration of our freedom, and happy 4th of July to you, we're going to look at how the Democrats found a, another defeat. They found another L. They found a way to fizzle out their efforts in the House. This is one you're going to want to see because we've been following this for a while, and they finally got the L. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. Now make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We are on the home stretch to 500,000 subscribers, and I would love to have you help me get there before the end of July, and thank you for that consideration. All right, my brothers and sisters, as you know, we have been following a little-known procedure, a backdoor move in the House to get gun control finally on the floor for a vote from the Democrats. Now, they don't have the majority in the House, so they're trying a backdoor approach. We covered it when they announced it, we covered it when they were doing it, and now we're covering it when it dies. Have another L. Would you like another one? Check this out. This is something you need to know that they failed on. Democrats' effort to force gun votes fizzles in the House. Fizzles? I like fizzles. How about we just say it goes down in flame? So this was released today. A democratic strategy to move tougher on tougher gun laws through the House has hit a brick wall of GOP opposition, all but guaranteeing the hot button issue will be relegated to the realm of campaign messaging in the Republican-led lower chamber. Really? So they would put forward a discharge petition in order to guarantee or that was guaranteed to fail in order to do campaign messaging? Almost like it's a political messaging bill this entire time, like we talked about when they dropped it. This entire thing was pushing assault weapons ban, magazine bans, background checks, every wish list that they wanted, and it didn't even get a vote because they lost Democrats. The media is not going to tell you that. That's why we cover it. Check this out. Democratic leaders had launched procedural maneuvers last month designed to force votes on several gun reform measures over objections of GOP leaders. The gambit, known as a discharge petition, is rarely successful. We told you that here, but they tried to do uh, fundraise off of it. But supporters had hoped the effort will bear fruit this year, given the growing public outcry over endemic mass shootings. Endemic. Notice that. That's important. Endemic. We're coming back in a second. And the widespread popularity of proposals like expanded background checks, one of which is sponsored by a Republican. Notice how that was a very key word change. Endemic. I thought it was the epidemic of gun violence. I thought it was all about um, like a virus, like health related. Now it's an endemic. Oh, subtle change, but important to note. We'll come back to that another time. But let me show you what they tried here and how they even lost Republicans. And we told you this happened when it occurred, but now they lost them even more and some Democrats. But even that GOP lawmaker, Representative Brian Fitzpatrick, has refused to endorse the petition, citing the likelihood that the background check bill would fail in the Senate. The unanimous Republican opposition has highlighted the limited powers of the House minority, the reluctance of GOP moderates to confront their leadership publicly, and the polarizing nature of the debate over guns, which remains highly partisan despite shifting attitudes outside of Congress. How Tell me you're a leftist activist article without telling me you're a leftist activist, leftist activist article. They're putting pressure on the GOP, which on the Democrat side, do you really think the Democrats would go against one of the main things that their campaign promise in their party platforms, like abortion? Do you really think that the, the exact same organization, The Hill, would come out and say, well, Republicans are doing a discharge petition, even though it's rarely successful, but at least they tried. But against growing fighting against the abortion movement, in the United States outside of Congress. Do you think that would ever happen? Nah, that wouldn't happen. But let's continue because I got to celebrate and honestly be excited about another Democratic loss that they got handed in the House. The Democrats' discharge petitions attempt to compel votes on three separate gun reform bills, an assault weapons ban, expanded background checks before gun sales, and the adoption of a longer window for authorities to conduct those screenings. That's a waiting period, by the way. They still don't say that. But Fitzpatrick, Rhino, Lead sponsor of the bill to expand background checks to unlicensed parties who transfer firearms dismissed the discharge petition as a political messaging move and said he would not sign the petition for his own bill. He's not going to sign it because it's political messaging? Then why did he vote for the assault weapons ban last year, allowing it to go through Pelosi's house? That's this guy. He's the only Republican in Congress left that actually did it. Yeah, right now. And to wrap this up, let me show you what they needed and who they lost. Again, some salt in the wound. To force a bill to the floor, Democrats need a simple majority of the lower chamber, 218 lawmakers. 
to endorse one of their discharge petitions. All but four of the chamber's 212 Democrats have signed on to the petition to the, for the Fitzpatrick bill so far. Representatives Golden, Quillar, uh, Peltola, and Perez, Washington. So those are the four that bounced. That's weird. Hmm. wonder why those four, and they got called out by name in the Hill for not supporting it. The point is, they didn't get any Republicans, they lost Democrats, and they got another L. You are defeating these people. You get you took away the House so they couldn't do these type of things. This is an important aspect of what we do on this channel, what we fight every single day. I highlight the losses. I rally as much as I can to support causes that will bring these losses, and you guys have supported the entire way. This is the outcome. We are, it is bearing fruit, and it's exciting to see. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.